In this quick video, I'll show you how to set up custom maps. This process is PC only, but either Steam or Epic can play. I'm going to be going through the old fashioned way that requires no external plugin. So first you're going to want to download the workshop textures. Then you're going to go to start Rocket League. Next you're going to want to open Task Manager. Right click on Rocket League and hit open file location. If you're on Epic, you might have to hit this drop down and find a different one. After you've opened it, go to Rocket League, TA game, cook PC console, and then copy that address bar. After you copy the address bar, go to the workshop textures.zip right click and hit extract files, then paste the address bar and hit extract or okay. If you're on windows, it's gonna be different. After that, you'll have no missing texture or checker patterns in game. So if you're on steam, you're gonna to wanna to go to whatever map, hit subscribe. After you hit subscribe, go in game, go to custom games, go to workshop, and then scroll down until you find it. Note that you can only have 50 maps in here at a time. So if you have more than 50, it might not show up. But if you're on Epic Games, you're gonna need a few extra sets. So let's do that. If you're on Epic Games specifically for the Immortals Progressive Tower, there's a link for Lethemir's site, which you can find. Once you're on Lethemir's site, you can hit download to any map. The tower is not yet available, so I'm gonna do just Top Golf. And it gives you the option, download the zip. And now that we have it open, there's something in here that's going to be UDK. It'll either be your .upk or .udk. It doesn't matter right now, we're gonna have to rename it anyway. So next, we're gonna go back to the PC console, which is the address. If you don't have a mods folder, you're gonna right click, new folder, and name it mods all lowercase just like I have here. Once in here, take the UDK or the UPK and drag it in to the mods folder. And then while you're in here, rename it to labs underscore utopia underscore P dot UPK. Now when you're in game, go to training, go to free play, and then select utopia retro. And there you go, now we're in the map. So now we're gonna talk about Baki's mod, how to install that and how to get plugins that are needed for certain maps. All you have to do to set up Baki's mod is click here, download, and it'll give you an EXE to set up. After you've downloaded Baki's mod, you're going to need to reset your game. Once in game, you can hit F2, go to plugins, and hit open plugin manager. And this is where you can type the idea of any plugin. You can find plugins on this site, bakisplugins.com. The most common plugin you're going to need to play custom maps is going to be netcode plugin. And for some single player maps, you're going to need map expansion, which is going to save times and scores. In order to install a plugin, I'm typing 294, which is map expansion, which is what you need for the tower, and then install by ID and then it'll install the plugins. And those two specifically are both background plugins, so you don't have to do anything. Another thing you might want to do if you're playing the tower or any training maps is you're going to want to go to this free play tab and turn off unlimited flips. You're going to have to mess with some of the settings in here because it's going to change your game up quite a bit, which you might not want. And that's how you set up a basic training map. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to do multiplayer, you should check out Rocky Sledge's video and he goes into way more depth about multiplayer. But that's all for this video. I'll see you next time.